this will be a plot you like. And we just try to keep it undisturbed and try to let it do its job that it's supposed to do for us. They're so dynamic. It is amazing what comes to life. They can change so quickly. You can come out here and you think this is totally devoid of life. Then when the playa becomes wet, it's boom. Get a little rain and you come out here, it's a new hope. You start understanding a little bit more what nature's all about and where your place in the world is. The Playa wetland is a very unique wetland found primarily in the western Great Plains or High Plains of the United States. It frequently only gets wet during rainfall events and then slowly dries out over time. We're in the Rainwater Basin, which is located in south central Nebraska. And these wetlands are important to wildlife, especially for migration. The birds, waterfowl, and ducks and geese, they stop here on their migration and refuel. So these wetlands are kind of like rest stops. The number one threat to playas is filling in through sedimentation. This playa has a good example of a real nice buffer around it, which keeps the sediment out of the playa on most edges of it. There's an amazing diversity of programs available for private landowners who are interested in wetland conservation. It's been good for me. It's a 100-year easement, so the dirt work was all paid by other entities. It was all done real nice. Playas were altered to serve as irrigation water catchment pits. They are detrimental to the functioning of a healthy playa. So a lot of times when these pits and ditches were dug, there is a pile of material. And so a lot of what we do is just pushing that material back into the pit. We got a letter a few months ago now, sent the letter back, returned it, and they come out and did all the work for us. We're at the I-20 Wildlife Preserve in Midland County. This is a very unique riparian wetland. We're surrounded on three sides by heavy oil field industry. And on the south, we have an extremely busy interstate. The ability to come out here and just sit and listen and hear nature around you can be extremely uplifting. And it gets people back into an element that we've had for eons of time and we've kind of lost touch with. And that's why this site is so great for people. And people, they, they kind of scratch their head like, why do you even care, right? Why are you conserving these spots? Oh my goodness, there's all this life all of a sudden out here. It's all the playas together that provide all these ecological goods and services that the entire ecology of the Western Great Plains depends upon. Being able to experience the long-term highs and lows of nature, I think is very good for the soul. When people have and manage significant tracts of land, it's a spiritual connection for a lot of the people that makes them want to make the most of it. To enjoy the passage of the seasons and which birds are here at which times and which wildlife are flourishing. The playa is an anchor in the middle of that wide open prairie for people, for, for birds. It has become a special place to me because of the variety of things that I see here. It really comes down to the landowner's personal philosophy of how they feel blessed by their little share of the planet.